Buddy, you're a boy, make a big knife playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on Good your face, you big disgrace. Welcome to another episode of Mullen Talks. Today's guest, we have the Honorable Mayor Gary Christensen of Malden. Some of us like to refer to him as Mr. Mayor. Gary's going to meet with us today and we're going to have a chat about all sorts of interesting issues and topics. Um, first, I'd like Mr. Mayor to introduce himself and start us off with one of his biggest accomplishments so far as Mayor. Well, first, Joe, I want to thank you for having me on your show. I've always wanted to be on it, so now I can cross that off the bucket list. Mm -hmm. And uh, for everyone watching, I'm Gary Christensen, proud mayor of the city of Malden. It never gets old when you dream back in Malden High School to become mayor one day and then to have it happen. It's the reason why I never take a day off from trying to make Malden all that it can and should be. Very, very good. So what, what has been your biggest accomplishment so far? I never, I never really look at my time in terms of accomplishments. Mm. I'm always thinking about what's next and how do we continue to move the city forward. But I, if you were to pin me down, I would say it's what we've done with you know, our youth. Mm. I mean, a lot of people point to the city hall redevelopment, which is in itself mm -hmm. a major achievement. But you know, I think personally for me, it's just been able to, you know, offer some more programming for our kids. So which, which, whether it's the Malden Teen yeah. Enrichment Center, uh, revamp of the Malden Recreation that. Department, that, yes. you know, lots more program now under the leadership of Joe Levine. We've tripled the number of summer jobs mm -hmm. that we offer now for our kids. And, uh, you know, we were one of the first to be part of the MBTA Youth Pass. Well, well, to this, me, that's been one of the greatest well, achievements. Well, this kind of rolls us into the next topic. Um, what do you hope to accomplish, say, in a specific time frame, such as the next year? Well, where do we start? <laughs> I mean, I am so eager to try to make, you know, again, mold and all that it can and should be. I will do everything I possibly can to help move the city forward. So. You know, whether that's opening a school-based health center, which mm -hmm. we're aiming to do in the fall, or a recovery center to mm -hmm. help those afflicted with addiction, mm -hmm. you know, during the next year. Uh, those are just some that come right off the top. But we're at this seven days a week, year-round, and um, we're excited. Oh, I hope this doesn't sound a bit redundant. Okay, first that was just one year. How about... Would some of those topics you mentioned be more long-term goals? Because I, I, don't, I don't know if all that can be done in just one year. They can. Uh, we consider those to be short-term. Uh, we're hoping to have those up and running within the next year. As I mentioned, the school-based health center we're hoping this fall. Mm -hmm. um, and the recovery center, we, you know, we're this close to getting funding from the state uh, this time. So I think we'll be you know, that much closer next year to having a center. Uh, in our city for those afflicted with addiction. Uh, you know, I think longer term, if we were looking at, you know, another four years, which again, it's hard for us to do. We're always caught up in what's happening mm -hmm. today, but I think we need to do something with Malden Center. You know, we've already began discussions with the MBTA about upgrading uh, that location. It's one of the busiest stops along the Orange Line. A lot mm -hmm. of our residents utilize it on a daily basis, so uh, we think the time has come for that to, you know, receive a facelift. I would love a facelift. Every time I'm there, it's just a madhouse. Yeah, it's and I, so crowded. I hear that from people quite a bit, you know, that when you come in or you exit, you know, that's one of the first things or last things you remember. Mm -hmm. uh, the National Grid site, you know, continues to be, you know, hopefully something special for our community. We've done a lot of work in the downtown. Mm -hmm. We think that site next to the square uh, is also something we'd like to see have something happen in the next four years. Now, um, we're not talking residential. We're hoping for a commercial, retail, recreational site at that location. And then just down the street where the Public Works Department is, you know, we've been trying over the years to figure out something there and unlock all the potential that exists along the Malden River. It, so it sounds like we've already covered the next topic of what you think is most important. And those sound like very, very important topics. Mm -hmm. Those are very important long-term topics. How we get there, I'm not sure, but that, that's very it's, exciting to see. 
what I've learned over eight years, it's persistence, it's never giving up, it's the exact roadmap that was used to mm -hmm. build a new police station in a new city hall. Just, you know, not giving in on it. Okay, on something a little lighter, what was the last movie you saw in the movie theaters? The Best of Enemies. Hmm. I never heard of it. What's it about? It's a great movie. It's during the Civil Rights era, mm -hmm. and it showed what can happen if people come together, work together, to make the world a better place. I love that. That sounds great. Right. You had two opposing views, mm -hmm. and again, they let their God come down and work together to they worked improve yeah. race relations. Speaking of which, I have another fun topic to ask you about. Personal question. Have you ever done one of those genetics tests? <laughs> yeah, I, I have. I have. And what I found out is in my background, um, my family tree originated mostly from Western Africa, mm -hmm. the Congo area, through the Caribbean. But I also found out something interesting. I have a bit of Swedish blood. And I think I'm about 7% Irish, Scottish, and Wales. <laughs> so, so, you know, seven, seven, about 7%. That's, that's a lot of Irish, Scottish. So you plan that question because yours truly, Irish and Scottish. <laughs> really? Yeah, to name a few. Well, I, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. And I, also I haven't done the full test, but I'm hoping to one day. I, I've done several of the tests, and it's pretty exciting. I also found out that I've got a lot of Jewish blood, too. Um, apparently, a lot of people don't know, there are a lot of, um, I don't really know the term, ethnic Jews mm -hmm. that are settled in Central Africa. Not Northern Africa, Central Africa. And apparently, I guess that's how I'm tied into that vein. It's very, very interesting information. I think people, if you're curious, go find out. But enough of that. We don't want to take up the mayor's time. He's got lots of important things to do throughout the city. And maybe you'd like to close and give a message to everyone before we sign off. Well, it's ironic that I'm here with you today because just last night there were eight different events throughout the city. Oh. From performances to the raising of the pride flag mm -hmm. to concerts um, to writer's dens. Malden is alive, and I just wanted to say thank you for allowing me the opportunity to serve you, and I hope that we can continue to move Malden forward. And that's great. Thank you. Thank you for watching another episode of Malden Talks with today's guest, the Honorable Mayor Gary Christensen. Good night, everybody.